Hi guys, welcome back to another video of Chrissy's Production. Okay guys, so as you can tell by the title, today I will be doing a video, another video of college, of course, because it's my junior year at Tennessee State University. So I'm gonna make this video straight to the point, guys. Try not to talk too much so you guys can just get right into this and just get everything that you need to know about college. Okay, so today I will be sharing with you guys 10 things, 10 ways to prepare for final exams, okay? A couple of tips and I also before I get into that I want to share with you guys my life update on college and preparing because the end of the semester is very close like less than a month like maybe three weeks until final exam so right now we have next Friday is when we're going home for fall break and then after fall break we come back for a week and we take final exams and then we're out for Christmas break which goes into New Year's which is a month and I'm so excited guys I'm so excited to be freaking home like I'm so tired of school I'm tired of studying I'm tired of getting up every morning for classes all of that so that's just a little small update on you know my school and stuff like that if y'all want to see like, videos of how i survived junior year let me know junior year isn't over yet for me i have to do next semester and then the semester after that i will be a senior oh my gosh like oh my gosh it don't seem like i've been here that long like literally so anyways i have 10 things here on my phone of how to prepare for final exam it's not in order i just wrote down whatever came to my mind so the first thing is getting plenty of sleep, okay? And some of this, what I'm talking about, is gonna be my life, my opinion. Getting plenty of sleep is very important, guys, because I'm gonna tell you now, this semester I've been taking so many naps, I've been so tired, and I just been sleeping a lot, and I've been staying up like till the latest has been two or three in the morning, either hanging with my friends, watching TV, watching YouTube videos, or just, laying down like i just been so tired so i could imagine like final exams are coming up and the end of semester is winding down so i need to get plenty of sleep like that's just very important so when you take your final exams for all my college students or even people that come into college next semester this is important because you want to get plenty of sleep without sleep your mind is just going make sure you get plenty of sleep because that's what I'm gonna do like no joke because today like I'm guilty of this I fell asleep in class so yeah I was just tired like I was trying to stay woke but I was just so tired and I work on a weekend so I'm extremely tired number two ask professor at least a week in advance about what's going to be on the exam that's very important guys like they will tell you what's going to be on the exam they at least should tell you most of the teachers that i've had gives out like an exam review guide so you can see like what's expected to be on an exam it may not be the exact questions but at least you know like what might be on there so you can look out for it a few of my classes i didn't have a final exam which is very rare and if you have teachers that have that like classes that you take and you don't have a final exam oh my gosh that's good because you ain't got to worry about stressing because a lot of people like midterms and especially finals the library is packed everybody just trying to cram everything in but you got to make sure because in college things will creep up on you you got to stay prepared and you want to make sure you ask your professor about what's going to be on exam so you can study in advance for it and last semester i took one of my communication classes well last year and he gave us a study guide and i kid you not like i really went through it wrote down the answers you know what i'm saying and when i write down things that's very important because you can remember it that way but on the exam like it had it was like 50 questions and only like maybe five was on the exam I'm looking like really i'm wasting my time yeah the material that they give us is important but it's like really 
like I'm expecting this to be on the exam. So don't expect that specific thing to be on the exam. You have an idea what might be on the exam. Number three, be aware of extra credit opportunities. Extra credit is very important, especially when you could come from a 86 to a 93 or something like extra credit is good and a lot of professors will acknowledge the fact especially if you've been participating in stuff they will give extra credit to students and a lot of times they give it out like at the end of the year and they have this thing called course evaluations where you evaluate the professor and it's just like this form where you tell them how was the class was the book useful did they teach right you know just stuff like that to fill out and sometimes they'll use that for extra credit whether it's five points or two points it's extra credit so be aware that next we have make sure all work is in ahead of time before finals a lot of time students wait to the last minute to want to turn in work say it's an assignment that was due two weeks before the exam and for whatever reason they want to wait to the last minute because once the final exam is taken Usually that's it after that. If you didn't turn an assignment or a quiz that you didn't do or whatever, like normally sometimes if the professor is nice enough, they'll let you retake it or make it up or whatever, sometimes. But I'm saying once the final is in, that's usually it. Next we have go to tutoring for additional help. Tutoring is important, okay, but Unfortunately, some classes don't offer tutoring. The only way I could say is go to the professor because some classes they don't have tutoring, but the professor can, of course, tutor you because they're teaching it and they can help you or give you additional help or answer any questions you have. If it's math or the writing center, of course, the normal, they have that, but tutoring is important if you need additional help, especially because finals are coming up. You wanna make sure that you know what you know so you can get stuff right. I would say go to tutoring at least two or three weeks before the exam so everything is covered and you're good. Next we have make sure all questions of the material is answered for your sake. So say that they give you the final exam review. You look over it and you don't know or you have questions or you can't answer. That's what the review is for. So you know make it as if it was a test. And if you can't answer some questions, that means you don't know, you know, the answers, obviously. So you want to make sure you get those questions answered by the professor. And you want to make sure that everything's good and you're ready for the exam. Because if you don't know some questions, then obviously you need help with. So seek help and it's okay. Do not wait till the last minute. That's important. Next up, we have be aware of what your average slash what your grade is in the class before taking exams y'all like i was on this freshman year like no joke no joke that's why i'm doing so well with keeping up with everything and organized that's very important when you come to college and i probably got on my professor's nerves but like every other week or week i emailed my professors and email is very important make sure you have all of their emails so, you know, you can reach out to them and stuff like that. So, I would email my professors every other week or so, asking them what my average was in the class. And I don't do it as much now only because, you know, you got e-learn, you can keep up with everything. And if you know that you've been turning stuff in and getting things back and you know what your grade is, then you should be good keeping up with everything. But just in case you may not know, reach out to your professors, ask them what your grade may be because you just never know because it's nothing like not knowing or maybe you have a C or D average and you gotta pass that class with a C. And it's like you're depending on the final to pass you, like it's nothing worse than that. I knew I wasn't failing but I didn't expect my grades to be as good as they were for midterms. So I got all B's, B as in boy, a A and then an S for satisfactory because I have a biology lab, which goes in with biology. So for lab, you get a satisfactory or unsatisfactory links in with biology. Good, your girl gotta keep that 3.0, you hear me?
Next, we have be active and do things you enjoy in between times of exams. So for exams, you don't wanna be totally, completely stressed. You know, you don't wanna be stressed all the time, okay? It's good to be stressed every once in a while. But make sure you have some downtime. Make sure, you know, do whatever you like to do in between times. You know, take a break, watch Netflix, your show, you know, do your hair, paint your toenails, go play basketball, exercise, hang out with some friends, you know, just kinda do some things in between time. So you won't be completely stressed. I have to work on that. Like it's very important, especially exercising. Just to get your mind off of things and just to keep that motivation going, you know. Sometimes I get overwhelmed, you know. But I'm working on it and I'm getting much better at it. Next up we have do light and minor work before taking exams. Before the class starts or in the very beginning of class, they have a thing called a syllabus. Now a syllabus has everything broken up in the class that the course is made up of. So they have quizzes usually, tests slash exams, extra credit, um, participation, you know, stuff like that. Make sure you do the easiest work first before you do the hardest work. You assignments here and there, make sure all of that easy stuff is taken care of before you do the more difficult work. So that way, that's out of the way, that's a breeze, and then that way you can build yourself up for the more difficult work. All right guys, last but not least, the last thing on here that I have for you guys is a tip for preparing for final exams. The last one is, ask your professor for percentages of the other work for class, just in case you might not do so good on exam. So, I mean by that is, say that you don't think that you're going to do good on the exam. Say that you study and you feel like you still may not do good. Or say that you didn't study or you studied like a day or two before the exam and you think you might not do good. So, make sure you know the percentages of the other things. So, that way you can do it yourself and see where you stand. Because some professors just say, okay, here's your stuff. You can do your own average type stuff. Especially if they don't have e-learn. So with that being said, like, okay, quizzes. Say quizzes are worth 30%, homeworks is worth 40%, participation is worth 10%, and then exam is worth 50%. So obviously the exams are worth so much more. So at least you have everything else good and A's on, which means your percentages and stuff will be high. And then that way you can say, okay, well I need to make at least a C or at least a B on the exam so that I can pass the course and be good. Because it's nothing like not knowing everything because percentages does matter into your final overall grade. Because once they do that, then you know you can go from there and stuff like that and figure out whether or not you're gonna pass the class. Because like I said, the final is worth a big chunk of your grade, but don't be scared because y'all, <laughs> it's been times where I was like, oh my gosh. Am I going to pass or I'm, I know I'm going to pass, but it's like, okay, I want to keep the A because it's been times where I've had an A in the class. Like I'm not a good test taker. That don't mean I don't know the material. I just don't remember stuff. And also note cards are good as well. And a lot of times professors will let you use a note card for the exam. It's totally good y'all because if it's like history y'all, like I could not remember all that information. It was crazy. Yeah, guys, take heed of these tips are so much easier. These tips are very useful if you really do these things because it will make your college life so much easier and better. But anyways, guys, so that's all I have for you guys. College is going good. Like I said, the semester is coming to an end and I'm just so glad because I'm beyond ready for a break. But I think I've been doing good. I've just really just been doing what I have to do because this is my third year and after your first year, you kind of know what to expect. College isn't bad. College isn't even hard to me. It's just so much work at once especially if you procrastinate. Y'all can do it. Let me know down in the comments if you're going to college, if you're thinking about going, if you already enrolled. Let me know if you found these tips useful, if you're gonna use some, or if you thought these was helpful. And I will see you guys later. Let me know if y'all wanna see more videos like this. And like, comment down below, subscribe if you're new, and I will see you guys later. Bye.